Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 131, Elements of College Mathematics, Section 2.4, Problem 2. This is problem number two from section 2.4. Multiply the matrices, and we have two matrices. The first one has 3, 0, 1 across the top row, and then negative 2, 1, 0 on the bottom row. And we want to multiply that times the second matrix, which has a top row of 1 and then 1 again, a middle row of 4, negative 2, and then a bottom row of 0, 6. So the first thing we have to do is check to see if this does have a solution. So to check to see if it has a solution, what you want to do is see if the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. And the easy way to do that is to write the dimensions of each matrix underneath. The first matrix is a 2 by 3 matrix because it has two rows and three columns. And the second matrix is a three by two matrix in terms of its dimensions because it has three rows and two columns. And now when you write those dimensions, sure enough, the inner numbers match. That does determine for you that there is a solution. And then the outer numbers of the dimensions tell you the size of the solution. So not only do I know that a solution exists because the inner numbers match, but the solution will be a 2 by 2. It'll have two rows and two columns because that's what the outer numbers are. So let me set up a big matrix next to this, and I'll write out all the work in it. And then we'll write a smaller version of that when we have the final answer. So we're going to have a 2 by 2 matrix. So I'll make these boxes nice and big. So our answer will have this format. It will have two rows and two columns like this. And in these big giant boxes, I'm going to write all the work. So now when we multiply these matrices out, you want to multiply each row of the first matrix times each column of the second matrix. So we're going to multiply the top row of the first matrix, 3, 0, 1, times the first column of the second matrix, 1, 4, 0. So now when we do that, you will multiply first times first, which will be 3 times 1, and add a 2, middle times middle, which will be 0 times 4, and then plus last times last, which will be 1 times 0. And now when you do that work out, first times first, 3 times 1 is 3. Middle times middle, 0 times 4 is 0. And last times last, 1 times 0 is 0 again. And now when you add those values, 3 plus 0 plus 0, the answer is 3. Now notice that answer where it went. We multiplied the top row times the first column. And our answer for that went in the top row and first column of the solution. So now for the next box, we're going to multiply, again, the top row of the first matrix, 3, 0, 1, except now times the second column of the second matrix, which is 1, negative 2, 6. So now when we multiply first times first, now it's 3 times 1, and then plus middle times middle will be 0 times negative 2. And then plus last times last will be 1 times 6. And when you do that work, first times first, 3 times 1 is 3. Middle times middle, 0 times negative 2 is 0. And last times last, 1 times 6 is 6. And then you're going to add those values, 3 plus 0 plus 6, which will give you a result of 9. And again, we've multiplied the top row of the first matrix times the second column of the second matrix. And the answer for that goes in the top row and second column of our solution. So now, to fill the other boxes, I'm going to multiply first the bottom row of the first matrix, negative 2, 1, 0, times the first column of the second matrix, 1, 4, 0. And to do that, I'm going to multiply first times first, which is negative 2 times 1. 
then plus middle times middle, which will be 1 times 4, and then plus last times last, which will be 0 times 0. And again, we'll do this work out now. So first times first, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then plus middle times middle, which is 1 times 4, is positive 4. And then plus last times last, 0 times 0 is 0. And when you add those up, negative 2 plus 4 plus 0 gives you a result of positive 2. And again, we multiply the bottom row of the first matrix times the first column of the second matrix, and the result we got for that work went in the bottom row and first column of the solution. So now there's one last box to fill in, and I'm going to multiply the bottom row of the first matrix, negative 2, 1, 0, times the second column of the second matrix, 1, negative 2, 6. Now to do that, again, same process. Negative 2 times positive 1 is first times first. And then middle times middle will be 1 times negative 2. And then last times last will be 0 times 6. So when you do that work, first times first, negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2. And then middle times middle 1 times negative 2 is minus 2 again. And then 0 times 6 is just 0, for the, last, <clears throat> the last times the last. And when you add negative 2 minus 2 plus 0, you get a result of negative 4. So now all the work is done, but again, it's not really the proper way to leave it with all this work showing. So you'd say the final matrix has 3, 9 in the top row, and then 2, negative 4 in the second row. And that's the answer.